Hello guys, welcome to DTWGED Prep Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, the GED science test, everything about it, what you need to study, the test formats, the duration, you know, how many questions you, you're going to, um, you know, get during your test, everything I'm going to be talking about. Um, the GED science test in this video, okay? And before we get on to the video, please, if it's your first time, please kindly click the subscribe button, all right, and support us to grow, okay? DTW GED Prep is a channel focused on GED, helping you get your GED. Right now, there are a lot of math videos, but coming soon, there will be a lot of science, um, social studies, and your RLA um, videos very, very soon, okay? And if you um, want one on one math tutorial, I also offer that you can I'll leave my mail in the video description box of this video you can contact me okay to schedule a class and also there's a Facebook group very active Facebook group with over 2,500 members um, if you're interested in joining that group for free resources uh, you know motivation you know getting information about your GED okay um, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group you can join that and you can also contact me also through the Facebook group and um, there's also also a site okay I'm going to show you, I'm actually taking you to the site to show you some things all right which um, has summaries for your science and social studies I'll show you the site very soon all right so uh, I always um, you know this is the channel if you use your phone you see this video as the first video it's very very helpful it has been helping a lot of students pass get their GED math uh, test right so you can watch all those videos that would help you this 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 okay several videos that would help you I've been also if you need detail for particular uh, topics like this I just did three days ago quadratic formula um, quadratic equations in your math it's going to help you okay so let's quickly dive down to um, all about the science, the GED science test, okay? And we're going to get this in the website. This is where I'm going to be um, posting a lot of text resources for you, okay? And it's um, the site is dtwgedprep.com. So you can just come here. Um, in the GED science, you have, you know, it is divided into three, your life science, earth and space, physical science. If you go into all this, you see summaries of um, each topic, your social studies, you also see summaries of US history, you know, socialism, communism, capitalism, civics and government and all that. You click on it and it takes you there. But today we are focusing on what to study for your science test. So we're going to go into this. All right. I don't want the video to be quite long. Okay. So about the GED science test. All right. So the test topics is um, you get a lot of reading for meaning in science. All right. Um, design and interpreting science experiment using numbers and graphics in science. All right. Where you might be told to find um, some doing some mathematical calculations and don't don't get scared, there will be a calculator for you to use. And it's not like your typical quadratic equation. It's just simple maths, maybe probability, all right, or uh, maybe mean, range, and all, putting um, values into a formula, a, a, a science formula, which will be given to you in the question, all right? Very soon, I'll be uploading some videos on um, GD science um, practice test question solve. So watch out for that. Uh, make sure you subscribe. All right. So uh, the test format is you just have uh, one part. It's not like the RLA that is divided into several parts. All right. Uh, um, so you have multiple choices, drag and drop, fill in the blank. You have, as, as I said earlier, your calculator. The duration for your science test is 90 minutes, unlike your RLA, which is about one, uh, two hours plus. All right, because you have an essay part, you have, um, you know, um, the reading for comprehension and the, the one for the vocabulary. All right. And here you have your uh, the test duration, as I said, is what, 90 minutes. OK. OK, this 70 minutes, this is wrong. OK, this is an error. All right. Is your social studies at 70 minutes? This is 90 minutes. Don't worry, I would edit the post later on. And also to note that the science test is still not a memorization test. All right. So you don't really need to bother about memorizing the periodic table, number of bones in the human body. All you need to know is just understand science concept. As I said, it has science concept, uh, concepts. 
it has as i said it has kind of uh, concepts including using logic reasoning to interpret information and drawing conclusion from a science text so you're going to have a science text so all you need to do is just you know just have a knowledge of some science terms and this is where all the summaries would help you just having a knowledge of it not memorizing it okay reading for understanding all right and this is a link to the facebook group if you want to join the group so now the major skill science skills to focus on is one as i said reading for meaning in science all right so you have science readings um you know discussing some theory theories drawing conclusions from evidence that are present so you should be able to read science passages identify evidences that support the theory principle and, and conclusion that has been drawn you know finding evidences that support the finding making sense of information that differs between various science sources okay so it's still reading for me you should be able to comprehend a text you'll be given a text and you should be able to comprehend it all right and you should also know the difference between a theory hypothesis and a scientific law all right that's where um reading summaries of uh what's uh, of some key terms in your science matters all right so here the, the second skill you have, to, you have to focus on is designing and interpreting science experiment. Don't worry, I'll do videos explaining all this, all right? Practice test um, um, examples explaining all this. So you should be able to design a science investigation or identify explaining independent and dependent variable. What a dependent variable is, what an independent variable is, all right? You should be able to, you know, make conclusions based on your data, evidences given in the science text that's the passage that will be given to you all right understanding and applying science theories and processes uh, okay so that's the second skill to to know then the third is using numbers and graphics in science you should be able to as i said earlier on you'll be given some stats and to describe um as i said earlier on as I said earlier on, you are going to be uh, finding probability, likelihood of something happening. And I also said on applying science formulas, the science, the formulas will be provided. So all you need to do is substitute, which you should have learned in maths. All right. So you just substitute the values and you get your answer. All right. So using graphics to display science information and also it's, it's really not very, very intense. All right. So all you need to do is. I advise go through the summaries okay go through the yes these are some books that would help you I I, um, I drop down here resources that would help you okay quiz let's what it does generally is to help you comprehend any form of text or passages so it's going to help you in your area it's going to help you in your social studies and also in your science all right only that in science there are specific terms scientific terms that are used which Going through your summaries on this on the site would help you with, and also GED.com. You know you need to go there and do some practice. All right, pay, um, you know, pay a token to do some practice tests to also help you. There are other resources like flashcards that can also help you. And for books, you can use the Kaplan and you can use the Stack books from 2014. They are quite good. Okay, you can order this from Amazon. And uh, I just dropped some links here in case you're having problems with maths. These are some links that would help you. I dropped this down here, the 30 most difficult GED math questions solved and other resources. Okay, playlist of things, other resources. You can just go through them. And also, if you want one on one tutorial, this is my email here. You can send me a message. All right, so thank you, thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. All right, if you have any other questions, you can leave a comment. Or you can ask me have a question that you don't understand you can take a picture send on the facebook group and we'll be there to support you all right so thank you thank you from dtwg the prep don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life he is the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last and also give you that good life here on earth okay he is coming soon and he loves you with his whole heart, is he loves you and he is waiting on you, knocking on the door of your heart for you to open up to him so he will take all your burdens away and give you rest. That good rest and that peace that passes all understanding, he's going to give to you. So thank you, thank you from DTW. 
So thank you, thank you from DTW GED Prep. Don't forget that you are destined to win in your forthcoming GED test and also in life. Take care and see you in our next video.